Hello everybody, welcome to Marks for Marks. Now this is a slightly, this is a, well, very different video than all. <coughs> no cooking involved, no, you know, just me. Me telling you about a little windfall I had. Now, a few days ago, last week I think, uh, I was up in the loft and I'm, I'm going through the loft looking for stuff to donate to a local, uh, well, they've got a jumble sale, okay? While I'm up there, uh, I find a rather interesting, uh, card here. As you can see, it's a post office savings card. Now, I'll, I'll show the inside in a moment. So, um, and I've had a bit, I'll tell you about the big rigmarole I've had regarding this. But uh, post office savings card, and inside is a bunch of five pound saving stamps, totaling 100 pounds, as you can probably count. Each stamp is worth five pounds. Now, the idea is, see, the, the a lot of you won't know what these are because I took out my mortgage when I was 21, and that was 1991, that was 30 years ago. Um, so, and it would have been a few years into that when I started buying these. So these cards are between 25 and 30 years old. In the old days, what you used to be able to do was go in the post office, give them, a five pound, give them five pounds, and they would give you a stamp, you'd lick the stamp, stick it in the book, like this. Exactly the same principle as when you go into Iceland, or you used to better buy them in Iceland, but you can, I think you can still get them in Tesco. You put a pound in the machine, you get a stamp, a one pound stamp, uh, not a postage, it's not like a postage stamp, which uh, some people get confused with, it's a, a saving stamp. Anyway, you put your pound in the machine, get a stamp, lick the stamp, put it in the book, and you save up, and uh, then you cash it in for your shopping. Same thing with this, you buy a five pound card, stick it in the book, save them up, and you can use it to buy things like uh, your TV license, your road tax, your water bill, uh, your, what they used to call poll tax, you know, you know, all kinds of things. And that's what this was. There was no specific um, thing for these stamps. You could, you could buy a multiple of um, uh, so goods and services, you know, you could probably pay for your funeral. They co-op do funerals as well. Anyway, the point is, uh, I found these up in the loft. So these are 25 to 30 years old. I went to my local post office. They sent me up to the main post office because they'd never heard of them. Can you imagine something 30 years old? I mean, the woman was uh, about my age, but <clears throat> everybody, but, but um, actually, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I went to the main post office. They gave me a card of the customer services. <coughs> and uh, I phoned up that number and about six other numbers on the card. Nobody could help. I could barely get through to a person. When I did, nobody had ever heard of it because remember, you know, a lot of these people are, weren't even born when I bought these. Went back up to the post office. They gave me a bag, a special delivery uh, envelope, which I'm going to go to the post office shortly and uh, send these off. And... Uh, and yeah, you know what they'll do is they'll send me, a, the, the woman, to, woman told me they'll, they'll, they'll send me a, a barcode, a bit of paper with a barcode on it. I take that into the post office and um, redeem that. So yeah, what I'll do, I'll, uh, the address that you put the, to send these to, I'll put them in the description, uh, save you the, um, the hassle like I've had to go through. I, I swear to Christ, I... Um, I went, yeah, to the local post office, the main post office, come home, phoned up six or seven different numbers, went onto the website, they're no help. Uh, spent three or four minutes trying to um, persuade some, it was an Indian fellow, I don't know whether they subcontract the calls out to India like some of the banks do. But I was three or four minutes trying to explain to him, he wanted a bank account number. And I say, I'm trying to explain to him for four minutes, no, this is not a bank account number, it's a thing and I'm telling him about the Tesco stamps is exactly like that he had no idea that's the trouble you got a 30 year old 25 30 year old stamps and nobody's ever heard of them <laughs> so uh, so what I'll do I'll put the I'll put the um the address that you send these on if you happen to find these and some of you out there will because I mean you imagine I've had these up in the loft for 25 30 years somebody out there might find it useful and they'll they'll have um, found some of these upstairs or in the drawer, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get. I'll put the address down below if you if you have any of these. <clears throat> um, I mean, aside from being a collector's item, <laughs> I don't know whether anybody uh, 
will find these of interest, but people, you know, find postcards and stuff collectible. But uh, yeah, I'm going to cash these in. I'm going to send them off and then I'm going to use the money to buy some uh, chicken feed. OK, so uh, that's the plan. Of course, the my address on the front is different. So I've had to scratch that out and uh, put my new address on a bit of paper. Uh, but it actually says here, you know, which was kind of, you know, it, on the back, it gives a list of uh, all the terms and conditions. Number seven, post office saving stamps cannot be exchanged for cash. Refunds can only be given in case of the death of the original cardholder, which is me. In such case, the original death certificate must be produced. Refunds will be made by means of postal order, brackets, for which no fee will be charged, in brackets. There you go. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, as you can imagine, it'd be slightly inconvenient for me to have to die in order to collect my money. But they assure me that I can just send these off um, to this address and uh, get the money. So I'm going to go into the, uh, I'm going to go to the post office. So uh, I'm going to make, make myself presentable. Oh, hey, what, what happened there? Oh, right, there we go again. Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah, work that time, second time around. The, uh, right, I'm going to go to the post office. Uh, I'm going to send this off, and in a few weeks, hopefully I'll have that check, and I'll uh, I'll let you know. Thank you, everybody, for watching. By the way, I'll put a couple of links in the corner here. One of them, I mentioned I'm going to use the money for chicken food and all the rest of it, uh, looking after the chicken. So I'll put a link up in the corner for my, um, uh, what do you call that, the, the playlist for the chickens and the allotment. See, if you want to see my chickens eating and carrying on and running around, have a look at that. All right, thank you for watching.